Assalamualaikum dear viewers welcome to the youtube channel design expert in this lecture we will design shear wall for multi story building flat slab will be used as a structure object uh, we will assume all the dimensions for this model in end, default setting is from the previous model we are not we are ignore this we select this one si system and sei 318-14 for concrete design code So we, uh, as we are already uh, told that we will use assume the other dimensions. So here we assume the dimensions as the story will be five. Next direction six meter. Six uh, grid line in the six x direction will be six, stories will be five, and the height typical story height is be 4.20. As we like 1.2 will be the bottom story height from the, the height or depth from the foundation to the top of tie beam. So lift edge. The uh, distance and right edge distance will be 0.3 so it will be fixed and a rigid diagram so we select the column there is no column so we will add the columns as like uh, we design uh, add the column edit the column and our previous uh, model like that you can also modify and show the property but we add new rectangular c column 200 by 600 or 300 by 600 as you wish or a different on your design so 600 will be depth and 300 will is the width of the column and steel will be using 60 grit concrete cover will be 25 mm and steel for this column will be 10 numbers and 16 mm tie up bars 8 mm will be the stirrups so now delete this one ok now select the slab if you don't have the slab you can click on the three dotted go to slab delete this one slab delete the other you can also modify and show the property here like that the slab one all the dimension is okay so drop slab we not recommend the drop slab it also will be one did would be just uh, assume one use load pattern live load will be as we assume two and okay and we will uh, use split slab for this design so select the opening here will be opening all the opening has been assigned so now we have to deselect this one Control key left click on column to delete and select the column. Go to edit menu and delete the column. Control key and select the column C7 story 5. Okay, 
and with the bottom right side and bottom bar semi select the similar stories select the column okay is like delete all the columns because the shear wall is the load bearing wall so uh, therefore we don't need the columns we will assign label the peers to this uh, walls also now we have to draw the shape of the low the shear wall here we uh, will is anyone if you want to select from the list so here now i selecting a shape and here distance is 7 meter in the uh, x direction is 6 meter for this wall so we enter and design the wall this is a e wall shape will be a e. now this dimension is 7 and another x direction is 6 and y direction is 7 so now here is lx lx direction lx enter the dimensions here as lx is uh, is 6 meter and ly1 this is ly1 is 3.5 because it is total of 7 meter so therefore it is a uh, half is 3.5 meter and the other is also 3.5 meter and t1 this one is t1 is thickness is 300 and the other one also thickness is 300 so all the thicknesses will be 300 except the uh, long side x direction will be say 400 t4 will be 400 it is uh, the dimension which we which recommended by the designers so according to the international book quotes but here we just uh, assumed all the dimensions you will take the dimension from the international book quotes consider is 400 and ok now you can if the you want to change the orientation of the wall you can do it from here 90 degrees suppose if you say if you 180 degree you can arrange by your cell so here we we are adjusting it in 90 degree because 0 degree and 90 degree both are the same for us but we select here for 0 degree because the orientation of both the side is equal but the building orientation on this side is perfect so we select it in 0 degree and deselect so now click on right click on deal load or live load select load pattern 
update load right modify and show load you can also select from go to uh, define and select the load pattern but it is a very easy way select a wind load here also wind load, wind load. Provide the information from the wind load data ASC 707-05 chapter number 6 and here the diaphragm also calculated the width of the building so therefore we enter the wind load now define the load cases here is already deep load, live load and wind load let's uh, see modify and show the case here is, there is uh, you have to use p delta ct if it is not selected you have to select use p delta settings and dead load consider 1.2 and add live load as 1 ok Now select the walls, all the walls has been selected, right click on this, you will see the detail of this wall and now we have to show the selected walls only, mm. so go to the, show the selected wall, selected object, only the wall you can see that now define the peers go to define peer labels already p1 and p2 is present so we enter p3 p3 at new p4 we will provide four peers to this wall okay now select the wall select you can if the pair is one assigning to all the same you have to select all but we just select difference to the uh, one by one to each wall so now select this one and go to the assign a shell and label the peer peer label p1 okay uh, it look like that all the walls uh, label the peer but now we select the second wall and as label the pair 2 already assigned so select the 3 now select the on this wall for p4 shell pair label p4 ok p4 also has been uh, assigned to the shear wall
now to define and show all the objects all the pairs assigned you can see now that the pair assigned to the shear walls this uh, um, signs is just for the designing of shear walls and you can also uh, if the it not present the toolbar so you can go from here it is for frame some for each designing the signs are present here so it is for shear wall and now check the this one per slab and this per concrete frame structure this one per slab design completely slab detail present in the in this so here is the three loads d load live load and wind loads we just run the model in this through three only so save this train it is better to save it before you starting because if you have the in abnormal condition occurs your drain will be not uh, will be the your uh, piles will be saved So now, uh, now wait for the analysis the analysis is while the analysis is running we have to wait the analysis running has been completed now we have to check the shear wall start design check and if you need detail if you want to make some changes you can do from here now go to the start design check start design check is in progress design check has been completed now go to the start start design check for this model also checking one by one has been completed delete currently minimize the plan and see here the value has been checked now we will also verify the shear wall is stable or not it matching to the other parts of the building or not so you should to click right click on the shear wall to see the detail it is the ATF shear wall design it is the complete detail of the shear wall and piers eccentricity and all the detail here is you can download this detail as well So now we have to verify that this shear wall is uh, matching with the other building or not. Sometime we if the size of the shear wall is overloading, so it shows there it shows that 
it become fails because the vibration load of the lift and the other should be to calculate so it shows that analysis design system verified that design match all areas is passed so this shear wall is matching to the other frame design so now should you have to display the design if this video is helpful for you please subscribe the channel like the video press the bell icon that you we you update from our upcoming videos regarding the uh, new design steel rubber designs and rubber calculation thank you for watching and have a good day bye